Hey what is going on everyone this is our reviews back with another video and today I will show you guys how you can free up a ton of storage on your iPhone by deleting data from the other storage the system storage and your iCloud as well. Now of course a lot of things that you can do to ensure that you get a lot of free space on your iPhone a lot of stuff that is just taking up space on your iPhone and of course you can free that up and have more space for the things you love. Let's start it off with the other storage. This is a part of the storage of your iPhone which takes quite a lot of space. Sometimes it can be over 10 gigs and of course that's really really annoying and this was a huge problem especially with the first few releases of iOS 14. But there are always things that you can do to ensure that you free up the most space you can on your iPhone. Now the first thing we want to do is go ahead and go to settings. You can see if we go to Siri and search right here, we have Siri voices. Now there are a lot of different languages, different voices, different accents that you can use with Siri and each of them will be downloaded on your device. So that of course will take a ton of space. So what you need to do is go back here go to accessibility, go to spoken content, and right here we'll find voices. So here we have English in this case. So if we go to English, we have all the different languages, all the different voices that are actually downloaded on the device. And you can see we have the option to download more there if you want to download them manually. And here I have, for example, let's say English Australian, and I have here a voice downloaded. So if I go to Siri female right here, you can see it is using 467 megabytes of storage on my iPhone. And this is saved locally on your iPhone. Of course, it will take quite a lot of space. If you have a few of them downloaded, then they will take a ton of space. What you need to do here is just go ahead, tap the edit button and make sure you tap right there and delete this voice from your device. That way, as easy as that will just one voice, you can save right there 467 megabytes. For the next tip, we're going to the Safari settings. I know a lot of people sometimes don't like to clear the history on their browsers because they have like websites and stuff like that, that they need to quickly like go ahead and visit or just take a look back and see what they have visited and visit them again or something like that. But you can always clear data without clearing the history of Safari. Now, if you go to the settings of Safari and you go right here, have clear history and website data, this will clear the data, but it will also clear the history of your browsing. But what you can do is just scroll all the way down and then go to advanced right here. And then you will have here website data. If you go here, you will see a list of all the websites and the data that they have stored on your device. So you can see right here, we have currently 300 megabytes. Now I do clear this regularly and it's still 300 megabytes. What you can do here is just go ahead, tap the edit button and delete any of the data for any of the websites that you want. As easy as that, you can do that from here and of course, save a ton of space on your device. Another Safari feature that will take space on your device is the offline reading list. So if you go to the Safari settings, scroll all the way down and you have automatically save offline enabled, then this will save all the reading lists, all the websites locally on your device so that you can read them offline. So let's just go back here and go to the iPhone storage. So if we go to iPhone storage here and go to Safari, then you will see I have maybe a couple of articles saved for offline reading and they will take space on my device. You can see right here, offline reading list is 6.4 megabytes. Of course, that's not that much, but if you have like a ton of them saved, then of course they will just pile up here and they will take up quite a lot of space. But what you can do here is just go ahead and make sure you have that disabled. So go to the Safari settings and just make sure that you have this disabled. And then of course you can go to Safari and you can make sure that you have cleared like things right here from the reading list that you have already read and you don't wanna have them saved locally on your device anymore. And that of course will save a ton of space on your device. Next up is messages data. Of course, on iMessage, you will receive photos, documents, videos, and stuff like that. They take a lot of space on your device. You can find them easily by going to the general settings, go to iPhone storage, and just find here iMessage. And then of course you will have a list of all the different data that you have right there. So let's just go ahead, go to messages and you can see right here we have documents and data. And just keep in mind that I always clear this stuff and it's still of course there, a lot of space that is taken up by these apps on the device. So if you have like histories of different conversations, group conversations and stuff like that, you will have a ton of different data right here. So you can see it shows you top conversations. So basically it shows you the conversation that is taking up more space on your device 
device right there. Then you will have photos. If you go here, it shows you a list of all the photos that you have received on the iMessage app. And you will have the option from here to delete each of them individually. So you can see from here, really cool, very useful. You can go ahead and select each of them and go ahead and delete them from your device directly from here. That of course saves a ton of space. And we have also videos right here. So if you have like a huge video, something like that, that of course take a lot of space. So you can just go ahead and always clear them directly from here. Another thing that you can do to clear up a lot of storage on your device from the other storage is to clear the app's cache. Now, unfortunately, Apple doesn't have that as a feature that you can do from the settings app or something like that, but there is a walk around to do that. So for example, like for apps, like let's say Facebook or Instagram, you can just go ahead and delete the app. Of course, all you have to do is just install the app and log back in and you're back with all your stuff. So deleting the app will of course delete all the cached files, all the data that this app has saved on your device. And then of course, once you have it installed, you will have just to log in back on your social media, some apps like that, of course, that you don't have data saved locally that you need, then you can do that by deleting the app right here. So you can see the actual app size is 246 megabytes, but it also has 84 megabytes of documents and data. And by deleting the app and installing it right again, it will just basically delete that data that it has saved locally on your device. Next up, we're talking about the iCloud storage. If you're using the free plan from Apple, which is five gigs, then it will be gone right away. If you're using photos with iCloud and different apps, that of course will take a lot of space and the free gigs will be gone right away. But there are of course things that you can do to make sure that you have free space on your iCloud. Now, the first thing you can do is go ahead, go to your profile on the top of the settings, go to iCloud and go right here to manage storage. From here, you can go ahead and delete stuff from your iCloud. So we have here photos, you can see is the top one, 2.6 gigs. Now what you can do here is go ahead and delete, disable and delete. This will basically delete your photos from the iCloud and you will have 30 days to download them before they, they're they gone and they're completely deleted. But what you can do is also go to the website on your desktop, log in into your iCloud account and from there you will have the option to delete individual photos or videos that you might have uploaded to your iCloud and are taking a lot of space. That of course is very useful. And then right here we'll find different apps that have data saved on your iCloud. Of course, there might be apps that you're not even using anymore. What you can do is just go ahead, go to each of them and just tap to delete data. This will of course delete all the data that they have saved on your iCloud. That way you will free up quite a lot of storage. Now, when you have just five gigs, of course, everything matters. So you can go ahead and check the list. This will show you the app that is using the most down to the app that is using the least. Another thing that will, will of course take a ton of space on your iCloud is backups. So if you have like old backups that you don't need anymore, you're not gonna use, just go ahead, go to backups. And right here, if you have any, you will find a list of the backups and you can just delete them from here. It will show you the date of the backup, all the information you need to know. And if you don't use that, don't need that backup, make sure you go ahead and delete it from here. And of course, another thing that you should do is always check which apps are using your iCloud storage. Now you might have apps there that you don't want to even use your iCloud storage, but they're still uploading files there and taking up space on your iCloud storage. So when you go to the settings of your iCloud, here we'll find a list of all the apps that are using your iCloud storage. All you have to do is just disable them from here and they won't be using any storage on your iCloud. Next up is system storage. Now this part is not something you can really do anything about it. These are system files, but there is one thing that might be taking up a lot of space on your device and it will show right here on the system storage and that is iOS updates. So make sure you go ahead and check the list here on the iPhone storage settings. If you see an update for iOS, if you don't want to install it on your device, make sure you have that deleted because it has been downloaded automatically on your device. That might be maybe a gig or two and it's just sitting there without being installed. And it will take up a ton of space on your device and that shows on the system storage. So if you don't want to install that update, make sure you have that deleted from your device. Now with iOS 14, you will have a great feature here. If you go to under software update, it basically allows you to choose whether you want to download these updates automatically or not. So 
For this case, if you don't want to take up a lot of storage by downloaded iOS updates, that you can go ahead and disable that from here. So just disable this one, download iOS updates, so they won't be automatically downloaded on your device and take up space, which will show up on the system storage. And last but not least, I will give you guys a few extra tips and tricks that you need to follow in order to make sure that you always have free space on your iPhone. First of them, go to settings, go to the app store section, and right here on the bottom, you will find upload unused apps. This is very useful. If you have any apps that you're not using, it will automatically remove them from your device. Once you want to download them back, you download them and it will have their data saved on your device. So the app is gone, but the data is still there. So anytime you need the data, they will be there anytime you want to download back that app on your device. Another thing you can do to make sure that you always have like more storage this is especially for the system and the other storage is to always make sure you have your device updated to the latest version. And last but not least, if nothing is working for you and you still don't have storage on your device, make sure you go ahead and do a backup of your device. You can either do that using iTunes or you can do that using iCloud and just back up your device and then go ahead and restore it. But just do a fresh restore of your device and then just restore your data from the backup that you have done and you will have everything back and you will have a fresh restored device. So that is it for this video guys. This is how you can get a ton of free space on your iPhone by deleting stuff from the other storage, your iCloud and the system storage. That's basically it for this video guys. I hope you find it helpful. Hopefully you will learn something new and will help you get more free space on your iPhone so that you can get more things that you love on your iPhone. Stuff like videos, photos and apps and all that stuff. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe for more. I'll see you on the next one.